And that historic landing in the works for the Blue Ghost spacecraft. Looking to touch down on the moon in less than 24 hours now as we look to understand more about it and pave the way for more space exploration. Take a look. This morning, stunning images from Firefly's Blue Ghost Lunar Lander as it prepares for a nerve-wracking landing on the moon's surface. We're a little bit wider and we're a little bit shorter than most other lunar landers that you'll see. And it really is to kind of guarantee that we have a really nice, soft, upright landing on the lunar surface. Others have tried and failed, like Astrobotics Peregrine, iSpace landed with mixed results, and Intuitive Machines Odysseus landed with a bent leg. But because these are commercial companies, they have a little more flexibility to take risks that eventually can get us to Mars. You know, the moon is a great stepping stone towards that goal and vision. It's all interrelated. Tonight, Blue Ghost will have a nail-biting descent onto the moon's south pole, where scientists believe we will find water critical for the future of space exploration. We'll give the go no go to do our powered descent uh, initiation burn, which will then start the burn with the main engine and the reaction control thrusters. Uh, and from then on, it's pretty much all automatic until we land. We can no longer abort, and we have prepared the spacecraft to land on the moon automatically to mitigate any other risks. Once Blue Ghost lands, dozens of experiments begin. We'll operate for an entire um, lunar day, which is about 14 Earth days. Um, and that's when all of our payloads kind of start their mission. So the images you saw flying yeah. over it, that was the far side of the moon that it captured. It's going to land on the near side of the moon. Okay. They hope to land uh, a lander there on the far side next year. But wow. Really cool. That's where there could be water. Mm -hmm. Love it. That's right.